Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to make a Photoshop Elements logo stamp. So you can stamp your logo onto a picture just like that. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and also click on subscribe as well. When you subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, let's get to it. This Photoshop Elements logo stamp trick is actually very easy to do, but it requires that you understand one thing about paintbrushes. I'm just going to grab a standard paintbrush over here, just a solid hard paintbrush like that, and let's bring the size up a long ways here, 300 or so. There we go. So there's a standard paintbrush, and I'll put a new white layer in here as well. Let's just do a fill layer so this is easy to see. There we go, and I'll put my colors back to their defaults. Okay, so here's our paintbrush, and it's just a hard edge. Right now the size is at 367, but that's not really that critical. The way you normally use a paintbrush is to paint like this, and you get kind of these brush strokey things happening in there. The softer the brush, the smoother those edges are. Let's just undo all of that stuff in here. But that's what you normally get. Now the main technique that I'll be using here is not to paint with a brush like that, but instead to just tap it one time. Tap it once and it just gives you the brush just like that. Let me show you this with a different brush. I'll scroll down here, we'll find some kind of a pattern brush. And there are a lot of these as you can see. Just kind of a nice random pattern right there. And I'll bring the size back up again. So there's a brush stroke with that. It's a bit more of a smooth brush stroke. But if I just tap that once, that's what the actual brush looks like. And it's that tapping trick with the brush that allows you to make a logo stamp to use on your images. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll just get rid of that layer that's no longer needed. There we are. Now, to make a logo stamp, you need to take your logo and convert that into a brush. And here's how you do that. First off, over here, take your logo. Now, I like putting mine on a 500 square pixel image. So just go up here, make a new file, file new, blank file. I have mine set at pixels right here and at 500 by 500 at a resolution of 300. That's a good basic brush setting and then choose OK and you get a brand new image like this at 500 by 500 at 300 pixels. You'll now need to have your logo as straight black, no colors in here, no gradients, nothing like that, just a straight black logo. Colors won't work, or at least they're not important because we'll be doing this as a brush stamp. So the black here is not going to be the color unless we choose black as our color, but it's the correct color for making the logo image. And then just center that nicely inside of your brush area. And here's our background again. So that's my logo sitting in here, just sitting on top of this nice square white space. We now need to convert this into a brush. And that's the easiest part of this. Just go up here to edit, come down to define brush right there and then give this a name. Now notice the number over here it says 479. Our file of course is 500 by 500. So what's actually happening is that the actual image in here, the bird image is at 479 by 479. It's just a little bit smaller than that 500. And that's because the brush is being made out of this one layer right there. The background I have in here just, just for viewing sake, but it's being made out of this one layer. And then just give it a name. Let's call this one bird logo and then choose OK. Now if we come down to our brushes right down here, you should see your new brush right here at the bottom of your currently selected brushes. I have mine on the default brushes. So it's at the bottom of that list. There it is. It says bird logo. That's our new brush. So we now have a brush at 479 pixels and it is of that bird logo. If I go over here again to our dog layer, and I removed the previous logo in there. Whenever you do this kind of a logo stamp, you want to be doing it on a new layer and not on your original background layer. That way, in case you want to take it off, it's just delete that layer and you're ready to go. You can see right there, there is that logo. It's kind of sitting in there. Notice how the color changes to match the background that you're on, so it's easy to see where that is. You can adjust the size that way. I'll make this one, oh, about 150 pixels. I'll just type that in. And there it is at 150. Then all you have to do is just tap and it stamps that logo right onto your picture. Now because it's on a layer, I can show or hide that logo. 
I also can delete that layer if I wanted to to just remove that logo. Now, if you want this in a different color, because it's a paintbrush, all you have to do is change your color over here. Let's go ahead and we'll find a nice rich blue, kind of like that. Choose OK. And then just stamp the logo and it comes in at the currently selected color. So it's very easy to colorize these as well. You can also make these blend in with the background if you want to. Let's go back here to black. I'm still on that one layer up here. I'll put one right on top of the ears so it goes over the ear like that. It makes it easier to see what I'm doing here. Now go up here to the blend modes and come down to overlay and you can see how that changes now and we're actually seeing the image through that making it a bit of a transparent or translucent watermark on your image. The two I found that work out best for this are overlay and soft light which is just a little bit softer in there. So we're easy to make kind of a watermark effect in here. You also can of course adjust the opacity for even more control on how your logo stamp blends into your picture. Okay so that's all good. We have now seen how to make a logo stamp how to save that easily as a brush. Just use Define Brush right there. And we have it now down in our brush sets. Now the question is, how do you save this so you don't lose this logo in the future? And you do that by saving your brush set. Make sure you're on that logo. There it is. Got this little icon right there. And again, I got that drop down by clicking that little arrow. There it is. Click on this little icon up right hand corner. And then come down to Save Brushes right down there. Let's now give this one a name. I'll just call this one Logos. It'll be saving this in a brushes format and it saves it into your brushes folder in your presets for Photoshop Elements. It says 18, but 18 is Photoshop Elements 2020. So this will match whatever your version happens to be. Okay, so it's Logo Brushes, choose Save. I've now saved that brush. Let's now change our brush sets. I'm gonna actually reset everything. There's a reset brushes right there, so Everything's now back to its defaults. The burr brush is now gone, as you can see, it's no longer on this set. So I need to bring that back in again. Again, easy to do, go back to the little icon right there, and then come down to Load Brushes, and then choose your saved brush set right there, and choose Load, and it loads that new brush in at the bottom of your current set of brushes. So that's how you save your logo brush, so you can always get back to that in the future. But there you go. That's how you can make a logo stamp, how you can use it on your image, and even blend it into the image if you want to, and of course, how you can then save that brush for use in the future. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and share with your friends. Also, make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.